Hi friends, Tasha with Stardust Gold Crochet. Welcome to my tutorial on how to do a front post treble crochet. In my last tutorial, I showed you how to do a front post double crochet. If you are new here, welcome. I do stitch tutorials and free crochet patterns, stitch tutorial series about front post stitches that I'm creating for a cable headband stitch called the Estrella headband and it's filled with cables and I wanted to demonstrate how to do cable stitches and all your front post stitches. So I'm going to show you today how to do the front post treble crochet, which is very similar to the front post double crochet. So here I've kind of created a base. When you're working a front post treble crochet, you yarn over twice. The front post double, you yarn over once. So for a treble, you're going to yarn over twice. Then you're going to go down and work around the indicated stitch. And in this case, I'm working around the double crochet stitch double the front post double crochet from two rows below. So usually there's a single crochet row between each of your cable stitches. So I'm going to go around that stitch by inserting my hook from the right to the left. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull up a loop and I'll have four loops on my hook and this is a treble crochet so we're going to yarn over and pull through two each time until we get to one, one loop on our hook. So there is our front post treble and you can see it's taller than the front post double crochet. I'm going to do that again, yarning over twice. I'm going to go around the post. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two loops at a time until I just have one loop left on my hook. Let's do that one more time because three times is always the charm. Yarn over, pull up. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two yarn over and pull through two. So there I've created three front post treble crochets. It's a very easy stitch to learn, especially if you already know how to do a front post or a treble crochet. And doing front post stitches creates raised areas where you can actually do cable stitches and crossovers. Let's do a crossover and I'll show you how to do a simple crossover. Oh, another trick. If you'd like to anchor your stitches, you can anchor your stitches by doing a slip stitch on the very last yarn over and pull through. You'll do a slip stitch instead. So I'm going to yarn over twice, go back around that post, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. But before I complete that, I'm going to go through that stitch with a slip stitch and I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to just pull through my last stitch all the way through and it will anchor the back to the front and you won't get the ridge. Normally there's a ridge and I'll show you how that looks. So when you anchor your stitches it creates a better look to your project because then you don't get the strange flap that you normally get when you do front post stitches. As you can see how it's apart from the other stitch and those stitches behind it. Anchoring it creates a better look. And I wish I actually learned that trick earlier in my crochet career because my cables would look a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and do a slip stitch and anchor with the slip stitch. And you want to make sure that your yarn is on top of your hook when you do that, when you go back through. So just make sure it's above your hook. And I'm going to pull through both. And there I've anchored the stitches so I get a solid background. Voila! So now I'm going to continue and I'm going to do some single crochet stitches until I reach the end and then I'll work a row of single crochets and then we're going to come back and I'll show you how to cross over. So now I'm going to chain one when I get to the end. I'm going to turn. So we're going to work a crossover stitch so I can show you how to do crossover cables. I'm going to work single crochets across until I reach The stitch that I want to cross over on. Normally right here 
you would see your stitches and you would say okay you would work straight down and that's just going to create a straight line going all the way up your project but if you want to create crossover cables you're going to want to skip the stitch that's right here and you're going to want to work around the next stitch and front post treble crochets and front post double treble crochets which I have a video tutorial for as well will create an easier look and but less bunchy if you use a front post double treble when you're doing crossovers. So I'm doing a front post treble here in this example. So I'm going to yarn over twice and instead of working around this post here I'm going to work around this next post. And actually I think I need to do one more single crochet. So I'm going to work around the second post and not the first post. So I'm going to yarn over twice go around that second post, yarn over, pull up, and then complete my front post trebles normally. Now this would be one of the cases where you're not going to anchor it, you're just going to continue your work. And now I'm going to go back through the very first stitch, just like we did before, you're working through the front from the right to the left, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and two and now we've created a crossover stitch and you can see that that ends up twisting it and it will become a cable stitch as you work along and keep twisting your work or doing crossover stitches. Let's do it one more time. We're going to yarn over twice. I'm going to go not into this first cable stitch. I'm going to go into the next one. Then I'm going to yarn over two times and I'm going to go back through that first cable stitch And there I've done two crossover cables. And as you work your work, as you work up, you'll find that it, it looks really cool and twisted and neat. <laughs> and there you're gonna skip the stitches behind the ones you just worked. And we worked four stitches, so we're gonna skip four in the back. And then we're going to continue our single crochet across. And that's how you do front post treble crochets. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for being here. Happy crocheting!